This video shows how to tap into Sci5's Inside Debug and Trace IP using Segger's JLink Debug Probe and Ozone Debugger in order to get instruction trace, code coverage, and code profiling information on a RISC-V target. You will also learn how to do live performance analysis and recording on a RISC-V target with Segger's System View. As the hardware platform, we'll be using the RDA7 100T FPGA board with a Sci5 E31 core bitstream that includes the Sci5 Inside Debug Trace IP and System Bus access. The Sager J-Link is connected to the board via the Sager Sci5 RD adapter. As the software example, we'll be using a simple Sager Embus Ultra project with a high priority task and a low priority task. We can build the project using Sager's embedded studio IDE for RISC-V and then open the executable in the Ozone debugger. After starting the debug session, the application halts at main. We can set a breakpoint in one of the tasks and run the code. Program execution halts when the breakpoint is reached. The instruction trace window shows what instructions have recently been executed. The last instruction executed is shown at the bottom. We can navigate through the instructions to see what happened on the target before we hit the breakpoint. The source viewer, the disassembly window, and the timeline window are all synchronized with the selected instruction. The timeline window visualizes the course of the program's call stack over time. It provides advanced navigation features that allow users to quickly understand relative and absolute call frame sizes and positions, which makes it a great profiling tool as well. The code profile window visualizes the code coverage and profiling information by source function or file. We can sort by source coverage to check how many lines of each function have been executed, or we can sort the functions by instruction coverage. The run count shows how often each function has been called. The load provides information about where the time is spent in the application. We can filter out functions which are of no interest. This gives us a distribution of the remaining load across the other functions. You can also export the code coverage and profiling information into a report. For additional insight, the RTOS window provides information about the various tasks in the application. Let's remove the breakpoint and run the application again. We can now open System View to do live performance analysis on the application and to record the application's behavior for offline analysis. We can trigger on various conditions and see task switches, interrupts, and other events as they happen in real time. Other windows in System View offer additional insight into the application as it executes. The complete system behavior is recorded for offline analysis later on. This video showed how to tap into Sci5's Insight Debug and Trace IP using Segger's JLink Debug Probe in order to get instruction trace, code coverage, and code profiling information on a RISC-V target with Segger's Ozone Debugger. You also saw how to do live performance analysis and recording with Segger's System View. For more information on these and other Segger products, please visit www.segger.com or contact us. Thanks for watching.